Good day, folks. Uh, this is Sadr Rahman here once again this week, and uh, with me today is uh, Sohib Arshad. Uh, he transitioned from uh, oil industry to data science, and uh, we will talk to him. But uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about was that last time the feedback was that uh, the sound quality was not that good. So we've tried to address that this time, and uh, we'll probably ask a little bit more uh, uh, detailed questions with Sohib. Uh, that was also one of the feedback. So we can get started. Uh, so to start a little bit about telling about yourself first. Uh. So uh, basically, I'm an electronics engineer. Uh, I was working in the Middle East in the oil and gas industry as a well logging engineer. Um, and I recently moved to Canada. Like I just immigrated last year. So here I am. So um, you were in the oil field. So how did you transition over into what you are doing right now? So when I moved to Canada last year, um, I knew that the field of data analytics is hot. So I moved to Alberta initially, where I was working in the oil fields here in Canada as well. Uh, but while on the field, I was continued working towards uh, a couple of certifications. Uh, the major one being a Microsoft Data Certification, a Microsoft Professional Program in Data Science. So. I, I was working on that. I did not plan on staying in the oil fields for long because it's a declining industry. So once I was done with my certification, I moved to Ontario and started looking for other opportunities. So with data science, a lot of people uh, think that it is just about doing a certification and then you become a data scientist. Do you think that is true? Well, definitely not. It's uh, not a linear field. Like uh, it's, it, it has a lot of things. Even the senior data scientists, they they don't know everything. Uh, and plus, I'm working as a data analyst right now. And there's so much to learn that it's, uh, it, so it's the, not explainable. <laughs> so with the basic uh, certification, you're saying that you can enter the field, but there is still a lot to learn. Exactly. Like in the good thing about the Ontario job market is there are a lot of IT related jobs. And if you have a bachelor's, uh, especially in a technical field and then you can g get a couple of certification then it it's easier for you to break into an entry level job and once you do that then you can build on top of that right uh, so a little bit about uh, what do you think uh, people should uh, avoid when they move as immigrants so what is it that they need to avoid doing uh, i see a lot of immigrants they sort of tend to get struck in uh, in the survival jobs uh, so the first thing I'll suggest is uh, depending on your financial situation if you can avoid uh, going for a survival job try to do that as much as possible and focus on your target uh, but even if you have to do a survival job uh, stay focused because I see a lot of immigrants uh, they they get involved in survival or our jobs as we call them and before you know it a year has passed and they're still doing the same stuff and they tend to become comfortable within that bubble so that is the worst thing that you can do to yourself and you must avoid that but there is one thing though that uh, since uh, you mentioned about people who get stuck in that but they've got uh, families they've got families to support and everything you're a bachelor so uh, things vary uh, in that regards too, right? As to what kind of personal situation you are in. Exactly. So for, for me personally, I moved from the Middle East. I'm working in the oil industry, so I had some savings. So I did not do any odd job. Uh, even like when I moved to Alberta, it took me some time finding a job. When I moved to Ontario, it took me some time finding a job. But I did not go for any survival jobs. So it, it depends on your financial situation. I'm not discouraging that you should not do a survival job or you should not support your family. You should do everything you can for your family. But at the same time, you have to stay focused. You, should, you cannot, I, I know, I, I have multiple examples of people who, who were stuck in what they were doing like a couple of years ago. And that is very, very bad for you. So, somebody who's uh, who's planning to come in here and they're watching you right now, what would you recommend to them? So, basically, the job market here is very different from job market back home in Pakistan, India, or even Middle East. Okay, so depending on 
what you are doing, it's not necessary you'll find the same work he here in Canada. So it's better to look for other avenues as well. So you should not be stuck that, okay, so I am an, I'm in oil field or I'm in HR or I'm in finance, so I, I should be doing the same thing. I mean, if you have the passion for that and if you see an opportunity, for sure, or depending on your situation, how long can you wait for the opportunity? But I see a lot of people who start afresh when they move to Canada. So you should be willing to explore different avenues. And once you have decided on an avenue, just focus on that. And you will, once you get the first job, then after a few years, I think it, it should be much easier for you to al align yourself in the market. Perfect. Thank you so much, Shoaib. We've got a lot, we've gone a little bit over our five minutes, but that's fine. It was really nice uh, learning the things from you. And uh, folks who are just watching right now, if you found this useful and want to have or access to the same kind of content, please uh, click on the subscribe button below. Thank you so much. Bye.